All right, welcome to Bingle Bingle. It's quite a funny name, but actually a pretty cool premise. It's basically a roguelike roulette table. I haven't seen too much of this yet, but we can see we can select the ball side of the token to spin the wheel. Okay, so we're going to spin. So it says normal ball, which is 10 base points. And it looks like we're trying to get to 300 points. So we have 10 times 10. We got 100 points. Your score will be displayed here. You will score each time you roll a ball. The score is calculated by points times chips. So this is adding chips through like a color bet, I think. Yes, yeah, select the bet side of the token to place chips. If the ball goes into a pocket with chips, you will get a higher score. So let's click this. Ah, so we have a color bet, which basically we can choose red or black. Go for black. Sure. Now 20 chips are added to the selected color, meaning you'll get a higher score when the ball goes into the pockets of that color. The bets placed in each round is shown here. Chips placed by bets last until the end of the round. So you can score multiple times with those chips for that round. Okay, so here's all the bets that we can play. And now we can roll a ball again. And hopefully, hopefully we get black. Nice. So even if we didn't get black, we would get 100 points. But this should give us uh, 300 total. So we're at 400. All right. Not bad. I get it. And we have uh, coins here. If, after each round, you get some coins and visit the shop. Coins can be spent to upgrade your tokens and wheel. All right. So we have a frozen ball. Roll a ball. Freeze nearby pockets. Eh. Target ball. Before rolling, select a range of pockets where the ball will land. I'll try that. And now we can select a token to put that on. We'll put on the first one. And we can also upgrade it. I guess it wants me to do that, so I will do that. After you're done with shopping, click this button to move on to the next round. Okay, simple enough. Since the chip place lasts until the end of the round, it's usually better to place bets first. That makes sense. We'll just go all in on black. The discard token allows you to discard. Does it, want, it wants me to do this. Okay. Okay, and now it wants us to test out the new ball. So we kind of want to do something like this, where it's more on the black than the red. I'm starting to understand. So we hit the 20 times 30. So let's get 600 points and we win the round. It's a pretty cool premise. I like this. I think it's going to be a little more complicated as we play. Um, it's going to be a little more involved. Um, we get nine coins again. Now we can make more. Okay, wait. So we can upgrade our, our wheel here. So we can take this and put it on like a black. And it. Okay. It's saying that the abilities are enhanced. So I guess it wants us to do this. I would have liked to buy like, I guess we can because we have seven coins. So I'm going to do this. What does this do? So before rolling, select nine pockets. This goes to seven pockets. Also, bets are sold in the shop. You can apply to tokens. Okay. And you can reroll for $2. I'll buy this. And I think I want to go like this. And now we have like a pretty good section of red to go for. So we can pretty much get almost guarantee a red if we do like 18 to one uh, because of the fact that uh, our target ball is now the size of seven. When the round tokens run out before you reach the target score, you will lose the game. That makes sense. All right, let's go for red. Let's go for red. And now we're going to discard for the target ball. And I think we just go like this. And all we need to do is get one more red, and then we can just go for red bets. But at the same time, like, red isn't the best score. Because I think that you're going to have different bets that do more. Like, there's only 20 chips each. But 12.50 is not bad. Nice. We're also still getting 9 coins each time. These are items available for you to buy in the shop. The items assist your gameplay with, your, with their own abilities. When no discards left, plus 20 points to the ball. The first bet is worth... Plus 40 base chips. That's kind of nice. I think I'm going to do that. There are many items to find. With those items, you can create many special builds. If you don't have enough coins to buy the item you want, you can lock the shop to purchase in the next shop for the next round. Okay. I don't want to do that. Let's move on. Uh, remember, all coins disappear when you leave the shop, so you cannot save coins. Okay, so there's no, there's no building up economy. Interesting. That's an interesting choice. So this should have more base chips so it's 60 chips already I, I mean like this is so overkill let's just uh, discard to find target ball we really want to find one more red I like the target ball though 
And so I'm imagining you can get like some pretty interesting roulette builds where you have like all of one number. Oh, we have a boss. From now on, boss will appear every four rounds. Okay. Select a reward. You can play one more token, but minus one coin. Remove one token from the deck. Gain four coins every round. I think for now I want more coins so I can upgrade stuff. We have money dispenser, which gives us 17 coins. Here's our extra red. So we'll do that. Pocket ball. Roll a ball that can change the pocket it lands in. That's weird. <laughs> this is $11. When the highest level token is not used for the round, gain 50% more score permanently? Hold up. That's kind of insane. Okay. So now what we want to do, I think we do this. We just upgrade this. Oh, I don't have any money left. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to use the target ball this next round. I'm going to run this normal ball for my bet. Three numbers horizontally. Is that good? Is there any way to look at like the, the, the thing? What is this? Okay, yeah. So 13, 14, 15. There is a 13, 14, 15 all inside this target ball area. But I can't use the target ball. But this could be good later. So I'm going to do that. And let's put it on... Let's put it on this. No, that's the one that's in, that I can't be using. So I'm not going to use that token. Let's do this one here. And uh, let's move on. Okay, 2,500. Okay, so I can't use target ball. I'm still going to go for red. Yeah, I'm going to go for red again. We skip. I'm going to roll once, I think. We got red. So it's only a base, base ball, though. That's a thousand. Okay. I think we roll again. I'm kind of scared to not hit red. But we hit it anyway. So we basically need a dummy. We need a dummy uh, ball. Street is not worth it right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll. Hopefully get another red. We did. We've hit red like every time. Um, I'm hoping to get like, basically a dummy chip that is going to be used to give us permanent score. And so we're going to get extra score this time because we didn't use the target ball to, uh, token, I believe. That should upgrade. Okay, 12 coins. Okay, so we want to upgrade this twice, I think, for this round. And now we can use our target ball, which is a much safer bet. I think that's like the play. And we can keep upgrading this to get it basically higher so we can use target ball more. Um, and we have no money. So do we want to use any of these? Wave ball? No. This is a wave ball here. Do we want to do that? A roll a ball that increases its base points, but it's fragile? Okay, but it, you can't... It's interesting. You can't, uh, roll that token again. Plus 30 points if less than 5 gold left after the shop. Huh. If less than 5 gold left after the shop, decrease it. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so now we can use street on 13, 14, 15. We go for a color. We look for target ball. We hit the 15. This might be enough already. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's enough. Okay. So... If we want to upgrade target ball, we have to upgrade normal ball as well. I mean, we don't have to, but I would like to. When the ball lands on a pocket containing number four, gain two discards. So that contains number four. So this is 14, 14. I think we want to add like 13, 14, 15 in these extra slots so we can guarantee street. And honestly, I think... We're going to put street on the target ball. Uh, we're never going to use street, though, that way. Okay, I'm going to do another street. I'm honestly going to re-roll here, I think. I don't know if I want to spend $9 to get two free re-rolls. It definitely like gives you more options in the future, but I think like right now, I need something good. Ooh. Prime numbers. Uh... Pocket ball changes pockets before score calculation. I don't know what this pocket ball means, really. 
I'm kind of lost on that. Uh, we have another 13, though. It is a it is a black, but I don't think that matters. Because we kind of want to just, like, bet streets now. I think. I'm going to reroll again. And again. High low. I mean, that's good here. This is all low. I think we do that. Because how much does this give bets? It doesn't say. High low is... 20 chips as well. Well, that's kind of stupid. It's a waste of money. I would rather do another 13 or 14. And I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go with a... We have how many 13s? We have two 14s through thir two 13s. I'm just going to do this. And uh, we move on. Do we like any of these? Numbers with both red and black pockets. I mean, isn't that good? We have like quite a few of those. Gain 20% more score permanently after shopping. This stack is reset. Resetted. <laughs> I, don't think that's you, I don't think that's a word. <laughs> is reset if you bought or upgraded more than once in the shop. Okay. These are actually decent. I think I'm going to... I'm going to lock the shop. I'm curious if this is going to work. Okay. We do street on 13, 14, 15. I don't think it's worth rolling yet. I think we do. Well, color's kind of bad, actually. Oh, I have to. I have to commit now, don't I? Can I escape it? Uh oh. Well, I'm committing. Okay, I, I kind of regret this choice, but that's okay. I'm gonna discard once. Discard again. Give me a street. And now we need to go back to the. I think we need to go back to uh, target ball. Uh oh. Okay, I'm going all in on red. Hopefully we hit this. Here we go. Okay, so I, I want to go with this one for low. We didn't do any low bets, actually. I forgot we didn't switch that. We hit a 14, so I think that wins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. Okay, we have $12 to work with. We could buy duality. We need to upgrade our balls. That's the only problem. Is if we upgrade this... Like, we have to upgrade this first. Because if we don't, then we can't use our target ball to get the upgrade. Which, I mean, maybe I don't need to upgrade those score every time. Maybe it's more worth it just get the 30 points. And the bets are better. This is a hard choice. I have another 14, though. I think that's definitely something we do here. And we can put that on the 18... So now street is guaranteed. We have... We have two 15s. I think we got. We don't have... Oh, we do have two 15s. So I think this is good. We get like a lot of chips from this. And I don't know if I, I care about keep the change. It's kind of scary to only have make one purchase. So I'm going to move on. I guess we could do a low bet. Just to guarantee that if we want to bet, it's still going to be, you know, on the, on the side of 13 to 14. Or 15. When multiple balls are rolled at once, only the highest score ball will get scored. Well, we don't have multi balls. So that's okay. Let's just go for target ball right away. I'm actually... Yeah, we do target ball right away. Let's go here. It's not going to be a whole heck of a lot yet. Because we don't have a lot of uh, bets. But this should still be multiplied by 1.45, so... Okay, well, never mind. It just wins. All right, we're, we're set on, like, what our board is doing. We just need to get upgrades. I think we remove a token, maybe? We remove a token. This one's doing nothing. We remove that. Okay, we don't need any anything here. We just need to look for good... Ooh. Wait a minute. We can upgrade the normal ball once. And then we could buy the high-low bet, I think. There is another... Oh, that's a, ver a vertical column. Uh, I think we're just going to stick with this. This is upgraded. We can next, next round, we can upgrade the target ball. And then we just run with the target ball. Okay. So we have this high-low. Do we, do we get this? Yes. So this gets plus 10 points on the multiplier. So I'm going to do this. We're going to go for low. We're going to do a street. 
can't use this one. We're going to do a street again. And then we're going to target ball. All right. I think it wins on the spot. Should It should anyway. Because we have plus 10 on this. 35 times like 200 and something. Yeah, and then times 1.6. Yep. I like this. This game's fun. It's a very, very neat concept. Like, there is, like, obviously, like, you can you can kind of hedge your bets, like, if you don't build into, like, a ball that targets things. We'll have to see how that plays out in the future. Precious token. If round token is left at the end of the, the round, decrease it by six permanently. That's... I have to basically use all tokens. Which is definitely possible. 10% of frozen pockets chips are always added to the chips. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> That's too much thought. I think I'm going to uh, upgrade target ball here. Upgrade or roll once and we get another street on target ball. I don't know. I don't know why I would do that, but I'll do it anyway. Roll once. Pocket containing four. I don't think it's that important. I think we just do. I think we just move on. Yeah, we move on. Okay, we skip. We get a street. We get a, ooh. Let's go for a crazy street here. And we have to discard until we get back around to it. We have to play this one because we have to save our last discard for when we get the blue chip. I'm going to play this. Because I think the next one's going to be the blue, the blue chip. Still 1225, not, not horrible. There it is. We might as well bet street. We have to we have to get the target ball or else we just lose. Oh god. Please be the target ball. Oh no. I think we lost. It put it gave me the 13. Are you serious? That should win, right? Okay, we win. Oh my god. I, it it, it kind of baited me a little bit there. I thought we were going to lose. So hopefully we can remove another token. That'd be that'd be uh, very helpful. I don't know about this containing a four. Like, getting two discards would be good. I think I would rather... Uh, I don't want to upgrade this so much. I think we're basically... This is what we were sticking with. But we have to um, remove another token. I'm going to reroll... Most frequent number on the wheel will always be offered in the shop. Okay. It doesn't really do anything, actually. Never mind. I mean, it, do it does, but it doesn't really at the same time. Uh, I don't know. These, this wave ball situation is not great. I'm going to roll again. When number of round tokens left is even, plus 30 base chips. When it's odd, plus 10 base points. Okay. I don't know what to do here. I guess I'll upgrade like these. I'll just do that. I think I'll roll one more time to see if I can get something that I want. Ooh. This is good, but I think that I, I remove a lot of the points based on my like... There's... I think it's still good, actually. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock this shop. Because I think that the most frequent number, the count is... Oh, there's a count number here. I think most of them are, are one. Yeah, and then these ones have... Oh, there's four thirteens. <laughs> okay. Um. So never mind. I mean, I could probably remove the thirteens that are not part of this. But I have to get rid of a thirteen in the group, which is not great. I think make a fifteen in here. Which is probably unlikely that we're gonna find it. So I think I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna lock. I'm just gonna move on. Okay, so now we can street for 145 on the first turn here. Uh, we have to target ball early here. I think we target ball once. Yeah, we target ball once. Then we discard back around uh, to it. After some bets.
It's already 1.9. It's almost winning already. Okay. We get extra score for doing high low. We skip this guy. We do one more street. I mean, that's super unnecessary. Maybe we don't do that. Actually, oh, I have to now. God, I hate that you can't cancel. Ah, oh, we win anyway. Where's our little section? Here it is. I gotta remember to click on the uh, the red 15 to choose the target area. Yeah, this uh, this high low bet thing's great. 38k. Okay, so we have $13 to work with. We have a vertical line again. When winning a straight up bet, is that like literally betting on one number? 10 points for each six numbers you've removed from the wheel. That would be really good if you have like one number and everything's removed. But I think we just re-roll. I can upgrade the normal ball so I can get the target ball running again, but I don't think that's really necessary. We want to look for some new stuff. Heart ball, wave ball. Here's a straight up bet. I don't think that's like really wise with our build. Okay. Decrease by 20 per the count of numbers removed from the wheel. How many numbers have we removed? One, two, three. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of removed numbers. Never mind. Uh, let's try this. It'll give us 10 bonus points, I think, because we have four 13s. And honestly, I'm probably going to remove that 113 that's sitting on its own right here. So that's perfectly fine. Every time you use a token, tokens are reshuffled. Ooh, that's so bad, actually. Okay. We get a, we get a, a plus 70 on the, the high-low or the high-low section. 175. They're shuffled again. Go away. Please find a target ball. Discard. Discard. Here it is. Play the red 15. The fact that it reshuffles every time is really bad because it could give us like a situation where we get the blue token every time. The extra 10 points on the multiplier is going to be really good. That's 2.05 now. That just wins. Free six pockets. Do I get to choose? It doesn't matter anyway. I'm going to get more coins. We have $19 to work with. This is actually really good because now we can do an up, almost an upgrade on both of these at once. Uh, I'm not using heart ball. We can do another street. Is that necessary? Not really because we do like the extra points on the high-low. We do one high-low and a bunch of streets. I think what we do is... Ugh, I don't like upgrading this because it's kind of bad. Because uh, I'm not going to use it. But it's an investment. And then I can do one of these. And you know what? Let's upgrade the high-low just because it's good to have extra points on the high-low. And... Uh, yeah, we go with that. So now streets are worth 140, which is going to be 190 on this right at the start. Go for another street. We can probably tar- Oh, it's 70k now. We have six discards to work with. I think we do a street here, and we discard all the way back around to the target ball, and I think we win with, uh, with that. We skip this. Wait, is this the one that- Yeah, this is the one that I've upgraded. Skip this for sure. We do one high-low bet. We do one street again. We Oh, this is the target ball right here. Perfect. Let me look for that red 15. Here it is. I like the situation we have here where we have the 13 to 15 and we just kind of play the streets. This should be a ton of points. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're getting 80k off one one bet. Or one roll. $17. We can upgrade the target ball now to go level 4. I think we go for a higher street here. We can go to 210 chips. That's a huge jump, actually. Upgrading is important because you do get like a huge bet increase. We skip you. Go for a street bet. We can do a street bet here. That's a big street bet. I think we do a high-low as well. A street bet. Street bet. 
We skip you. We do another high low. It's not really that worth it, to be honest. I have to do it now. I was kind of stupid. And now we have to literally play the target ball. This is it. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. It's actually like... I didn't realize it actually went smaller on the target. I think it still makes sense to do this. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. We have a good opportunity here to actually make all 13s. Like, I think if we can make these 14 and 15 in the middle here, 13s, we could switch to straight up bets. Oh yeah. Good stuff. We do have a straight up bet, bet here. It's a little scary though. If we don't hit the 13, we basically just don't get that score. But the, the chip value is probably really high. It's only $1. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think we need to upgrade some of our bets. I'm going to go with this one and this one. And then we have one roll to maybe look for like more 13s? No. I think we don't we don't go into the all in bet or the straight up bet until we know we can guarantee 13. When the ball lands in pocket six or twenty eighths, that is so random. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. Okay, we do the high low bet early to get the uh, the extra bonus points. We do this street. Is this the one? Is this our... This is not the, the highest one. This is a different one. I'm getting confused. Yeah, this pink one we can't use. This is the one. So discard. I think... I think we play this street. We do... We skip this. This is not the greatest street, but we'll do it again. We skip you, and we play this. I think that should be enough. Fifty-five base score is so good. This is now worth what? Two point five? Yeah. The fact that we can permanently increase our score like every round by not using one of the chips, the highest chip, is so good. And the fact that we're getting like eight extra dollars too is helping this move along nicely. Uh, plus 30 points. Like that's guaranteed win if we just like go to the last token. We're not doing any line bets. I'll roll once. 60 chips is really good for the 13. We do have a lot of 13s in that, in that target area. If we target the 14 instead... So it's 13, 13. Like, that's pretty good. We could try this. It's kind of a nice bonus if it hits. And then we can upgrade the high low. Sure. That sounds good to me. So we're obviously hoping to hit the 13. From the second bet, bets only have 50% chips. Oh, shoot. Let's discard this. We want a high street at the start. We want a high street again. This is only be half the bet, half the chips. We skip this one. We need our high low bet for sure. Ah, uh, it's a bit scary. I, we have to do this. Getting a second target ball might be worth it. So I'm going to go for. I mean, it doesn't really matter right now because we don't have the, uh, we don't have the, uh... Oh, actually, it actually doesn't matter right now. We want to hit the 13. Hit a 14. That's okay. So, we're not going to get as many points here because we don't have as many bets. There's 100k. And I think we have enough, we have enough to go around... Okay, we skip this one. We play a street. Please be a target ball. Thank God. Oh my God. I got really worried. It's getting a little scary. We need to remove one token, I think. 
to make it a little easier to get back to my target ball. So with 2.65. Yeah, and we're good. 220k. Three more discards could be really good or remove one token. Ooh, copy a token. Wait a minute. Isn't this better than, than removing? I think copying a token is huge. I don't know. This these are both good. I think we these are all good to be honest. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy a token. Let's copy our target ball. Yeah. More options. On the second unique bet onwards, 30% more score. It's unique bets. So it's like different kinds of bets. Split bets. We have another 15. Do we care? I don't think we care. We want prime number. Okay. This would be 10 extra points. That's something to consider. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we do get the 10 extra points. That's definitely like the most value we can find so far. If we do this, we have uh, $8 left over, which means we could upgrade one of our streets here. Or the high-low bet. Or we get another target ball just to be really safe. Okay, you know what? I've decided I'm going to get the elite number. And then we're going to do uh, target ball on this normal ball. So we have lots of target balls to work with, so we're not like scared of not running into it. That was definitely the biggest like fear that I had. When round tokens... Run out. Revive with three additional round tokens. Okay, it's a bailout. I don't think we're going to be worrying about that. I think we're fine. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move on. There's second to seven tokens now. Okay, this one's got a bonus. Uh, chips at the start. Go for more street. Go for more street. Let's play our 13 area here. Where is it? Here it is. 300k, it's kind of scary. We hit the 13, so it should give us extra bonus uh, points here. Wow. Okay. So we didn't hit that that much of a point. Oh, you know what? We need to do the, one of these. We messed up with our bets. Okay, we skip you. We skip you. We have to get two target balls here. There's one. I think we're okay, but it is honestly pretty close. We hit a 13 again, so she gave us the prime number. Are you kidding me? I don't think we can get any closer than that. <laughs> it's pretty close to 300k. I like this game. This game is super cool. You can definitely see the inspiration from Bellatro a little bit, but like this game probably took a long time to develop, and I think that it was in the development way before Bellatro was even known to the public. Very nice. $18 to work with. We have another street, but honestly, we have enough of a bet here. I think we have enough streets and everything. Number two. That's not going to do anything. This is not going to do anything either. So I think what we do is we... Oh, man. If we upgrade this, we can't do anything this round. And that's not really great. I'll roll once to see if we find anything better. I think we're like at our limit here of what we want to do. Like We can upgrade the normal ball this round and try to make it. But we have to get a lot more points. I think I need to roll and find something new. Ooh. Okay, we're, we're a little bit scared here, I think. Maybe I get a bailout just in case. I think we have a boss here. Yeah, I think upgrading chips is going to be important. And I don't have enough right now. 350k. We go for street. We do a high-low bet for the bonus points. I'm going to skip you. It's not You're not the greatest point value. Go like that. We skip. We do a target ball here. Hitting the 13 would be very nice. Thank you for the 14. Appreciate you. Okay. It's one third of it. 
We should be good as long as we just hit target ball every time. Let's do it. And we got the 13 this time. Six extra points is pretty good. Adds up quite a, quite a lot. Okay, and we have one more target ball. Here we go. Imagine I misclick and just throw the game. <laughs> that very easily possible. But we're still within like one token here. But we really need to upgrade stuff. Nice. Okay, $18 to work with. Oh, man. That does nothing, unfortunately. Ah, if I upgrade this, like, I should upgrade this this round. So that way I can get one of the target balls to be at higher levels. So this is now max level. So we can get these to five. We roll twice to find something new, potentially. Okay. So we can upgrade this for 11. And then we have, like, $7 left over. And that could keep us, like, going with the plus. We have to buy this next round, though. Ugh. I think the 13 makes sense. We should probably get this. Let's lock this. I don't know how many rounds there are in this game, to be honest. I'm kind of nervous. Is this the one we upgraded? This is the one we upgraded. We can't do that. We discard. We do a street. We do a street again. We do our high-low, which I don't know if it's that worth it, to be honest. Now that I think about it. We're not going to get back to target balls, I think. Maybe we will. I'm kind of scared. We're using a lot of bets here. I think we do one target ball here. Hopefully, we hit the, the prime 13. I might have messed up, though. I don't know if we can get 200k on this bet. We'll see. Okay, we got above 200k, so I'm, I'm not as nervous anymore. We're good. This game's uh, put me on the edge of my seat because I, I feel like this this build is okay, but it's not like super strong. We didn't get the, the 13 again, so at least we know that we can hit the, the 200k without a prime number. But we're not really getting that much further ahead than the score. Like we're kind of just surviving. So we can now upgrade one of our target balls. Let's do this. I'm going to buy this. It will decrease by six if we have less gold. But I think that having 24 extra points is going to be helpful. And then we can kind of focus on not, not being below that afterwards. So it's going to decrease. Yeah, this is worth uh, 24 points now. And what is this? What does this do? For every three items, disable one item. Uh! Oh, no, no, no. No, this is horrible. Okay. I should not have used this one. Okay. Oh, it changes every time. God, this is horrible. Okay, our score is, is available. But using it now is horrible. I think we need to actually just build up our street here. This could kill us. I think it's going to kill us. Okay, I have to use this target ball right now. Uh, we lose 60 chips. We lose our 10. Oh, man. We lose. Okay, this is fine. And this is fine. We have to use our target ball right now. I think this is like definitely the time we do it. I think we have to just get target balls and we have to pray. Oh boy. If we get hit by this, uh, if this 
target ball thing does not go, we lose. We lose the 60. We have the money dispenser and we have the low bet. I think we have to do this right now. We lose the elite number, but I think this is fine. As long as we hit the, uh, the 13 for the extra prime. We hit it. That's good. That's really good for us. This should still get us up to around, uh, yeah, 69. Nice. Ooh, okay. Uh, what is, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we have, to, we have to skip. We have to skip. This, if we don't get this, we lose. Are you freaking kidding me? We have to use the lower target ball, and we lose what? I don't even know. I don't. I, we we have to play this. This is the only thing we can do. So if we lose, we lose. Hit the thirteen, please. Pass it the thirteen, please. Thank you. This might be enough. Seventy nine. Okay, thank God. That might be the worst boss, by the way. Get the game clear. All right, that was it. Is that how it always works at the end? So getting a lot of items is actually kind of important. Because you if you rely on a certain item for your build, and that gets disabled, you just lose. We got an archer class unlocked. I didn't know there were classes in this game. What the heck? Bullseye, know where the final shot lands. That's really nice. You can like do some straight up bets on the final the final thing. Uh, Wait, we keep going? Oh, I think we do more money dispenser. Uh, let's do more money because we want to stay above the 24 points. 24. Okay. We can upgrade this guy. We can't upgrade both of these. Let's, let's roll once. When no discards left, plus 20 points. Another 13 is actually kind of good. Let's let's put that here. We could do one more reroll. And let's just uh let's upgrade a street here, I think. After bet placed, same type of bet is only 30% chips. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's really bad. I think we just lose here. This is the up this is the upgraded one, right? Yeah. That's horrible. Um we're probably gonna lose here anyway. Let's I don't even know, man. I the the chips being like thirty percent is just like basically screwing us over. Let's go like that. And now we look for our target balls. Yep. Honestly, it might have been worth it to like go for target ball um, on the most chips ball as well. Even though that doesn't give us bonus score. But since this is endless mode, I think we're just kind of like playing this out and see what we get. I think we're probably going to get like not even 300,000 th 300, here. So yeah, I think we lose. Yeah, we lose. <laughs> Let's just uh, let's let him roll. Here, normal ball, go ahead. Take it away. Huge. Massive score. So I would say this wasn't the strongest of uh, builds, but we did beat the, the the base game. I wonder how much like how much you can go, like how fast it builds up. We got a lot of items. I feel like the items were good. It definitely kept us alive. But there was no way we were getting a million. <laughs> oh, our bailout just worked. Uh, okay, we have three more things to go. Can we just, like, throw bets on until we lose? I'm betting on a color. It doesn't let you play the last... You have to play the last one as a ball. It's a five. We got red, though.
And there she goes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It's a pretty interesting one. Bingle Bingle. What a name, by the way. Uh, I think if we play this, we yeah, we have new classes. Very, very cool. What is this house edge thing? That's very interesting. What the what the heck is going on there? Okay, there's a lot going on here, man. <laughs> uh yeah, we'll have to check it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.